I am uh, really proud to be in front of you all today and uh, share with you some of the uh, exciting things we've been doing inside the technology uh, team at MicroStrategy. Uh, I think Michael and the team did a great job at showcasing 9S, Secure C Cloud and Usher. And today I just want to give you a bit of a flavor inside of what's next. So we've been making some changes in terms of how we build uh, enterprise software at MicroStrategy. Uh, uh, the uh, guy went through an example of how we take advantage of uh, uh, Rally. Uh, we've moved to an agile development methodology at, at MicroStrategy, and that gives us an opportunity to make much faster turns of software so that we're able to bring ideas and feedback from all of you forward in each interaction. We're taking advantage of some cutting edge technology in terms of how we build software and getting regular interaction. For me, it's really important that we get active feedback not just from our partners, but our users and all of our employees. And we, for us at uh, Technology, we want to open our kimono and provide a great opportunity for you to give us active feedback. One of those parts of feedback is a rich and robust testing process ahead of our release. So you've seen the great work that's gone into 9S. There was a core project between our team in China, our team in headquarters in Tyson's Corner, and between our Usher and our MicroStrategy teams that came together in a real agile methodology to release 9S to the market. As we move into our 10 release, we've been running an extensive set of beta programs uh, for our customers. This week, we'll go into beta five. As we end up our beta program in the next month or so, we will move into what we refer to as limited availability. Limited availability allows our customers for the first time to, to take uh, a, a product pre-general availability and use it in production. The early adopter program, as we refer to it, uh, is a non-cost limited term license that you all can take advantage of. It provides those that are participating a dedicated coach free of charge. You've got free access to some of the senior resources in both the support organization and technology. And it's a great opportunity to prioritize some of your feedback. Limited availability is designed to be production uh, quality code, but we want to make sure that as we complete our, complete our process, that we fix or address any issues to prevent large scale deployments for our customers. So we want to make sure that when we're generally available for all of our audience, we've got the best quality product in the market. One of the key pieces for us is how do we actually get active feedback from our customers? I'm really excited to see over the last couple of months the active involvement of many people in this very room in the MicroStrategy community. For those not familiar with the community site, community.microstrategy.com, we have over 175,000 active users on the site and we're seeing roughly 10,000 plus active new users each week. Today, at 10 a.m., while we're in, in the middle of Michael's section, we actually launched uh, Idea Exchange. Idea Exchange gives you an opportunity to provide product feedback, make suggestions, and vote on ideas that you see other people take a look at. So please take a look at the rules on Idea Exchange, and please help facilitate and share some of your knowledge about some of the things you enjoy and some of the things we can do to make MicroStrategy even better for you. So I want to talk now about MicroStrategy 10. I don't have a lot, lot of time today, so we're going to go into a big deep dive on Thursday in the future session where we're going to spend a lot of uh, time and detail on it. I just want to give you a small snapshot today. So there's three key themes that we've been working on in MicroStrategy 10. So we're really be trying to drive to a new level of enterprise grade performance and governance. Underpinning that was a significant investment we made in a next generation analytical engine. Secondly, we understood from our um, audience here that robustness and a central administration to do all of those complex administration tasks in one place was also critical to support greater deployability and rollout to your enterprise. Thirdly, you wanted a deeper integration between our desktop offerings and our server infrastructure. So we'll talk a little bit about that. So I want to talk about some of the breakthroughs we've seen from a performance characteristic. 
And this is based on both internal testing as well as some of the feedback we've had from our beta programs that we've run so far today. We've done a number of innovations to drive this. We've put a big investment in HTML5 um, at our visual data discovery, including connection with enterprise data. We've, in, we've uh, introduced the new parallel in-memory analytical engine, previously known as Prime, right into the core of 10. And we've got thousands of other enhancements. We spent a long time going through uh, our enhancement databases and facilitated many of those into uh, the 10 platform. When we take a look at our performance characteristics from 10, we're seeing in, in desktop analytics, we're seeing uh, up to an 8x faster uh, performance in terms of uploading data and working with data. Cube publishing up to 30 times faster. Web response up to two times faster. Concurrent throughput at volume up to two times higher. And in memory data volume in excess of 100, at 128x uh, level. So really uh, proud of what we've been seeing uh, in the lab and what we've been seeing in our early adopter, in our beta customers. Let's, actually, let's now take a look at actually performance, right? So now I'm actually looking at the new tool we're releasing, and I can see that I've got an issue with one of my servers. You used to have to go to multiple tools to find that. Right in the tool, I'm going to take a look at the heartbeat. I haven't had to exit MicroStrategy, and I can see that I've got a, some very strong peaks of performance on my processor. What is actually happening here? Let's take a look at the memory utilization on my machine. And I can see that I've actually penetrated up and I've gone over my threshold rate, rate of 80%. So let's take a look at what's actually happening in memory for me at the moment. I can look at the projects that don't actually have a lot of utilization or activity and see what's actually taking and consuming my memory. I can make a choice to actually remove those projects. And you can now see in pretty much near real time, that the system is going to remove those caches and return the system from a red alert to yellow. Instantaneously updated the system and given me visibility. But that's not all. I want to be able to set um, uh, alerts and so notifications. Give me the ability to set thresholds so I can be notified as an administrator of what's happening. And after the fact, well, if I want to understand what were the issues that were causing it, I've got greater visibility to diagnose and troubleshoot other events. There we go. So a quick uh, walkthrough. We've got a great session on Thursday where we're going to spend a lot more time there. We've got all of our experts on staff. We encourage you to take advantage uh, of the, uh, the vendor area. Where we've got some of our key uh, uh, team members there to help answer any specific questions. OK, let's take a look now at accessing data. So improvements that we've made into our, uh, our desktop and our analytical applications. We're really excited uh, in the 10 release to provide a new analytics desktop, one that works on both Mac as well as Windows. And you'll see that in a couple of minutes. Uh, we've improved dramatically our access to data sources, both uh, direct access to data sources as well as core enterprise assets. And we've improved the visualizations that are available in the product, both the inbuilt visualizations we've built as well as a, a rich set of third-party visualizations you're able to integrate into MicroStrategy. And we've got some great demonstrations of that on Thursday for you. We understand that predictive and advanced analytics are important, and the rich set of uh, analytics are actually a click away in our desktop offering. But we also have the uh, ability to take a robust set of R libraries uh, in the product, and we did just do a launch of a 2.0 launch of our analytics, uh, advanced analytics R plugin. So uh, we'll also go through that on Thursday with the team. So let's actually go through a bit of a scenario here. Uh, I just want to pre-prompt it. So I am in New York, and I am a, a store manager responsible for a series of uh, stores. I typically get maybe some Excel files sent to me, and uh, I want to actually understand the data. I'm looking specifically at some of my revenue characteristics for the stores that I manage. So let's actually come into MicroStrategy Desktop and take a look at it. So one of the first things I have when I come in here is I can see that I'm running on a Mac. 
I want to get started and I want to add data, okay? So as I add data, data is not always clean. It's messy. So we want to actually make some changes here. This is a very simple example, and you'll see more on Thursday session, but I can see from a cardinality that I've got New York capitalized in different ways. And we actually want to actually unify that data across that data set. Whether it's an import we actually do here or a large data set from Hadoop. So I can actually see here now we've just uh, converted all that data to New York uh, appropriately typed. So now I've got my revenue data. I've got it in MicroStrategy Desktop. I want to drag some of the key fields. I can see that I've got three stores that I'm looking at. I'm looking at over a period of time. I'm looking at the revenue that I had from my Excel spreadsheet, and I want to visualize it. And I can see that I've had fairly si similar uh, capabilities, but I've got one problematic store. I may do a series of other analytics and able to drill down. You can see in the later session, I can see a trend line that I've shown in my data. But I can see that performance is very poor in that central store. So I've obviously got my data from Excel, but I want to take advantage of the enterprise assets I have available to me. I have a rich set of assets coming from MicroStrategy, and I'm actually accessing my schema here. So I've connected to my MicroStrategy system. I'm actually taking advantage of uh, the, the state information. I'm taking advantage of the uh, cost information. And I want to take advantage of that revenue information I grabbed from my spreadsheet. So I've seamlessly tied together data from my local as well as data that's come from the schema from my corporate microstrategy solution into a single place. Now, I've done this analysis. I see the information. I would like to share that out to uh, our administrator or our analyst back in headquarters, see what they think, and see if they have some other insight that they would like to share. So one of the things is I started with my Excel data set but don't we want to connect it to our corporate truth? So let's now go into the case where I'm remapping that data of revenue that came from Excel, and I'm remapping it to my corporate truth. And very quickly, I'm able to remap, change a couple of fields, and you can now see that this administrator back in headquarters has access to more and more data. But that's not all. In the back office, we said, why don't we actually do a bit of a competitive analysis? Let's see what other data sources here. So we want to show you access to some public data. I'm able to search for restaurant chains, find a ser series of interesting data sets that I can explore and choose I may want to work with, and select the data set that I'm interested in investigating. I'm saying competitive analysis. I want to group it by name. Uh, I want to sort it um, by size and then by number of employees. So I've actually now created a very quick analytic to look at the different competitors in the place. And now I can publish this to thousands of users. OK. So in the previous session, um, the team really talked about what we've been really working around mobility. And mobility is a key part of what we want to do in 10. So we want to take and leverage the foundation that we've done uh, in our mobile offerings. And we have an updated version of MicroStrategy Mobile for the Apple iOS um, in 10. We're extending our use of Touch ID and leveraging our secure platform, and we've streamlined the workflows. So let's come back to that store manager case that I gave you a couple of minutes ago. So as the store manager, I've left the office. I'm doing my rounds of the offices, and I want to actually check in to see things. So I'm actually going to flick through and take a look. So I've got my mobile applications. It's like a dossier. I have everything I need to do my job effectively. Let's drill in here. So I want to view my analytics. I'm authenticating with Touch ID so we know who I am. I'm able to browse the various data. Tabular data is often very heavily used. I can see that I've got some stores with some poor performance. I can see some of those other analytics that I had just shown you previously that were published uh, out. I can identify a particular store that's actually performing fairly well. Let's take a look at this individual store. Let's look at this individual performance. And let's actually email the people to actually say, hey, way to go. So 
So I'm going to continue my analysis. I can see some stores that aren't performing very well. I can come back to that New, that, uh, New York store. I've now got access to that competitive data that you saw that I was able to publish very quickly. And now I can actually uh, rate the performance of that store based on my inspection. So within a couple of clicks, I've been able to publish information up to MicroStrategy. I've been able to connect it with our corporate truth. I'll be able to, able to provide some extra insight from public data. I'll be able to share and deploy it to my mobile apps. And my mobile workforce is able to take advantage of that in a secure way. So I am very excited to give you a, a brief summary today, but uh, really uh, encourage you to come and see the session on Thursday where we're going to spend a good three hours together covering both the innovations that we've been doing in MicroStrategy 10 as well as some of the exciting things that we're doing with Usher. Thank you.